Welcome to this final video showcasing the new features of Pit Stop 2019 due to be released in April 2019. In this video, we want to showcase a new pre-flight profile specifically for digital printers. It is designed to avoid unnecessary click charges and has specific handling for objects that look black. For those who don't know, a click is the printing of a color separation. So if your black looking object is not seen as black, you could end up paying for four clicks for a page that looks black only, instead of only one click. Given the profit margins on digital print, that's really not a good business model. The pre-flight profile is called Digital Print, Reduce Clicks, Looks Black, Make Black, and it lives in the standard action lists in the new digital print folder. It's actually a very minimal pre-flight profile, but of course you can add additional functionality and modify it to suit your needs if you wish. It consists of three action lists, two of which are turned off by default. Let's look at what it does. Digital print DFEs have very specific handling for black objects. For instance, an RGB black where the R, G, and B values are equal is treated as black and only generates one click. Also, a CMYK color where C, M, Y are empty and only the black channel has data are treated as one click. However, the registration or all color can generate four clicks depending on the DFE. And a page such as this where the RGB values are different and this where the black probably started as RGB and has been converted to a CMYK black. Both of those pages, although they look black, will both generate four clicks. Pitstop can tell us about this using a part of the preflight report that we added in the last version, the page color type. Let's take a look. So this preflight doesn't do anything but report on the color of pages. Are they black and white, color, or empty? As you can see, although the page looks black, it's correctly identified as a color page, and it is currently a page that will generate four clicks. Now, if I run the new clicks profile, look what happens. If I look at the navigator, it tells me that it's carried out a color conversion. And if I check the preflight report, you'll see my page is now identified as a black and white page or one click. It's not the fact that it's converted the page that's clever, it's how it got there. Let's look at the preflight profile in more detail. As you can see in this preflight profile, there are three action lists. The first one, looks black and converts to black, identifies colors that are colored all or registration. It also finds colors that look black. It doesn't matter which color space they are in. If they look black, this action will find them. Once it finds the objects, it converts them to grayscale. The second and third action lists are for special cases. This action list is for cases where you require the job to be 100% black, but due to the way the PDF has been created, it appears as a lower value say 80%. This action can apply a gray curve to all the content of the file, lifting the values so the darkest color becomes 100%. You can of course adjust this curve to suit and the job content must suit it. The curve will adjust all black content in the file, including images, text, graphics, and shadings. So you need to be aware of that. The last action list selects the default color of Microsoft Word hyperlinks and also converts them to grayscale. As mentioned previously, the last two action lists are off by default. This preflight profile has been tested with our users via the Pitstop user group on LinkedIn, and it's proven very useful. It's a profile that can run automatically, as it only works on black objects.